Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is obviously a try on haul, as you can tell from the title. I thought this time I would try on each item with you. It'll be more fun this way because that way you get to see my honest first impressions of everything. This is all stuff from Pretty Little Thing. Actually, that reminds me, they sent me some stuff for Coachella. It arrived like once I got home, once I had gotten home. I have those larger sized fishnets. How perfect would those have been for Coachella? <laughs> I'm so sad, but I might be going to Splendor in like a few months in Australia, so I could wear them to that. They also sent me this cool necklace. This jacket, but it was so badass. Look at the back. For those of you guys that are into your edgy style, I just thought that you might want to see it. I picked all this stuff out, but they just offered to send everyone in my agency like a Coachella look. This one has like a pink glitter. I wanted to wear this one. Like how angel is this? So pretty, it's like white with pink. And then that one's similar but more pinky. And then this one's silver and it's like stars and moons. If you're looking for cosmetic glitter for a festival or something, you can just like buy it with your clothes order, which is great. The first item is this dress here and I really, really like it. Very impressed. It's maybe a little bit big up the top here, but I wouldn't want to up a size. I wouldn't want to go any shorter because it does like come up on the leg here. I'm looking for something to wear to my friend's engagement party this weekend. And already, I think this would be a great choice. I love the neckline too. I think this dress is really good because you could pair it with like, this bag has no handle. I just grabbed this off my desk, but you know, you could wear a statement bag with it, a statement lip, cute heels. It would just go with everything. That's it from behind. My gosh, I'm dying over this combo. Oh. Get the tag out of the way. This little crop top you can see before I do up the overalls or pinafore. Is this called a pinafore? I specifically added this to my cart to go with the overalls. I mean pinafore? What is this even called? Dungaree dress? I really don't know but it's cute and I don't own one of these but I have lots of little crop tops and because I'm so tall it's hard to pair them with stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure I got the last one in my size as well. I really love it. It's crafted really well. Like it feels really nicely made. The top is really cute. I like the top. It's kind of sporty, but still cutesy. And the embroidery is really nice. It's like a proper little patch. I like the sleeves. This is the next dress. I love it. It's got little stretchy like thingies. <laughs> it's so cute. But unfortunately it is too short. Like I can't actually show you. I can maybe, <laughs> maybe. I this one is a miss as a dress, but as a top, it's a hit and I'll just wear it as a top. I don't have many pops of color in my wardrobe, especially not red, but sometimes I want to wear something red if it's like Christmas <laughs> or if I want to wear a red lip, I quite like to wear something red. This one's quite dainty and delicate, delicate, wow, delicate, like a girly print. So I just felt like it kind of matched my aesthetic, even though it's red. This one is too short, but we can work with it. Also, it's a lot of boobage. I do wonder without a bra if my boobs would fall apart enough that I could wear it without a bra. Maybe a bralette would be cute, but you know what I was thinking when I ordered this? Like, I love cute dresses, but I don't actually have that many. I more so wear skirts and tops. Like, this is a lot of, like, breast on display. I'm just wearing a strapless bra with it because I thought it would, like, I guess I could pin it. But honestly, I don't like to look too top heavy. I don't have big boobs, but I just get a lot of, like, cleavage. And I feel like it looks, like, too much sometimes. But this I was on the fence about because the fabric off didn't feel that nice. It's, like, stamped. Like, it really feels like painted on little stars. Oh, and it looks really nice, actually. It gives the fabric some weight. Little lady muffin is on display. But you can see from the back, it is long enough. So I think I'd have to wear either a little black bodycon skirt underneath or maybe some like biker shorts. I'm gonna try this without the bra and we will see. Ooh, you could wear it like that actually. Maybe that's how it was on the website. Cause that's a thing, isn't it, that people do. But yeah, I'm still gonna take my bra off because I look fat. My boobs push all the way up to here. I don't know if you can see. It makes me like lose my collarbone. It's so weird. Yeah, that looks way better with no bra. I don't know about it off the shoulder. I don't even think the model had it like that, but I know like some people wear their things like that. But yeah, it's way cuter without a bra. And no nipple with no bra. So that's good. Just wear it braless. 
<gasps> Cute, I love it. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I was gonna love this one so much. So pleased. Next I got this t-shirt. I'm that girl that's like goes to Beverly Hills once and gets the t-shirt. But I just thought it was cute. Um, I got a size small and it's really big. Really like shirts this style because you can wear them cropped look. Like how I'm wearing this. Just tuck it in. But it's also long enough. <laughs> you can wear it with leggings like to the airport. You could wear it with jeans. I'm not a fan of this one already. You can like see, you probably won't be able to tell. But I'll put it on for you. Sorry about my ugly <laughs> strapless bra. I don't know, like it's so cute though, the um, embroidered part. I just wish that like, you can see it like puckers the fabric. It's just not the right fabric for this shirt. It's the same fabric, I knew it. I feel like the lighting is quite blown out in here. Like believe it or not, I'm actually fake tanned. Maybe if we just like take it back. Here we go, so now that the lighting's really dull, you can see the kind of fabric I mean, where it just like puckers up and it's super thin. Like with this skirt, it's really darn cute, isn't it? I don't mind it. I just thought the fabric was gonna be different, but this one is definitely redeemable. Isn't it cute? Okay, it's kind of grown on me. I'm not gonna lie, I totally bought this to do an Instagram photo, like with my brunch. You can wear it obviously untucked, just like, um, oh my god, it's even cute untucked. Like, look at that. You could tie it, which would be super cute. By the way, you guys have to leave me a comment of your favorite item down below. And while I've got it on, let me model my fanny pack for you. I really like a lot of brands are doing their own version of the monogram at the moment. I saw Jouet's new collection had a monogram, and it was like in between Gucci, because it looked like the Gucci monogram, but then it was like the colors of Louis Vuitton. And it's a smart idea, don't you think? I feel like it is, but I got this fanny pack. Kind of wanted, they had a pink version of this. These are just one size, but you can tighten them because I know some people wear them like that or whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think I could pull that off. Or you can wear them like really low on your, like by your tummy. But I like to wear them like, wow, Sally, are you okay? Like around here. I like this one. It's not too bulky either because the one I took to Coachella, stuck out heaps and it kind of made me look like a little bit podgy. Obviously you could still fit your phone and stuff in it. It's just got some nice, nice cardboard in there and this thingy. What's in my bag? I will try to link everything down below that I can find. Okay, I just went and put on this top here because I feel like out of context, people won't understand the skirt, like why I got it. But I want to wear it with tops like this. Do you know what I mean? So it looks good and it's high waisted. And yeah, I think it's quite preppy. I could probably wear like a little blazer and some cute heels. This one I'm not sure about. It's just not super flattering. But I still, I liked how it was kind of like a rugby jersey vibes, but it's like pink and girly. Maybe if I do this up, it will look cuter. I don't know. I don't know about it. You guys have to tell me what you think. Also, it's pretty short. So I don't know about, I feel like this one's a bit of a miss. This is actually a plus size and I got the 16 to 18. Like it's so nice and long on me. I'll actually be able to bend over and there's no bum coming out. Like my leg starts up here. I'm just gonna buy plus size stuff from now on. It'll actually be long enough for me, but it just says Los Angeles. Again, goes to LA once, gets the t-shirt. This would actually be cute with this. Cause I was thinking, what the heck am I gonna wear this jacket with? Oh my gosh, I love this outfit. Like that's cute. So I also got some shoes off Pretty Little Thing. They come with the little things which I always keep because it helps your boots keep their shape. If you look at your old shoes, like old boots are sad. They need some support. So I got these. I will, how about I try one on? <laughs> just quickly. I mean, I don't know. Do people try on shoes? I don't really think they do. They just show them in, in the halls. I've wanted shoes like this for ages and they're perfect. This nude pair, they're also really nice, but the zip is at the back and these ones are way better. So curved, like they still do up, but it's just annoying if you know what I mean. See, they do up, but I don't know. The black ones are just designed a bit better, but then in saying that, when you're wearing these from side on, there's no zip. 
which is kind of cool as well. And the nude ones are a little bit higher in terms of the ankle. Really true to size, I got a size 8 in both, which is like UK 10, because I'm a size 10. And they fit perfect, thank goodness, because I've got big feet, so yes! The second to last shoes I got are these, and they are so pretty, really summery, it's not summer here. They kind of remind me of the Chanel Espadrilles, but they're like even more trendy because they're slides, and slides are so in trend. All my slides are kind of too sporty, which is fine for like athleisure wear but honestly I dress more girly most of the time so I just thought these were really pretty. I'm kind of nervous to try these because pants like this never look good on me but something came over me to get them like because all the bloggers wear these two events. I feel like they're sucking into my butt a little bit. Let me like put you on the floor and then you can actually see. Yeah. They're very long <sighs> but then I kind of love them like I've always wanted to be a blogger that wears paper bag pants, you know? Since you can see them now, I may as well show you. I bought pink gummies. I feel like if Legally Blonde was set at like a farm instead of a law firm, these would be her gum boots. Any of my farm girls out there, like if you milk cows or you work on a farm, you have to get these. They are so cool, like they remind me of jelly shoes because all the detailing is like one piece if you know what I mean, but they're honestly so cool. Next item, we're getting near the end, which is kind of sad. I've got a couple more things to try. Is this not going to my multi-million dollar lodge? I'm so rich that I have every color jacket. Like, I don't need a black jacket. I can have a white jacket. I hope you guys get the vibe that I mean, but this is very like Aspen ski trip, like I'm rich ski jacket. I feel like everyone's got the standard like Kathmandu puffer, do you know what I mean? But this is like next level. I know you guys are getting sick of me. People are like, why does she keep talking about her ski trip? Like someone was really mad because I said that I needed fresh lips for my ski trip. I feel like some people think I'm just like this huge bitch, so sometimes I just make jokes to play into it, but then People don't realize I'm joking, but anyways, this is so cute. They had heaps of colors, but I just thought white was like so bitchin'. I'm actually really impressed at the quality of this. It felt like Kathmandu Who. It's like nice and padded, and also on the inside, it's got like that layer, so like the rain can't get in. I literally just discovered this, but my camera died, which is sad because my excitement was next level, but look, you unzip the back, and there's a friggin' pull out hood. This is a size medium. I'm glad I didn't get a small because it's like quite snug around my bodice. So everything so far I would say has been true to size but for these maybe size up. Jeans and then a dress. I have this thing with jeans so around the waist it's like perfect and then on my butt like around my hips it's kind of too tight like it kind of squishes my butt almost and then the legs are like baggy. What can you guys see? I don't wear a whole lot of jeans. Um, I just obviously don't have the right body shape for it. I don't know, like, like an 8 up top and then like a 12 in jeans. But then they're too big on my legs, but like I think I've just got thicker hips through here. For online jeans, I actually really like them. And I really like the bottom. I don't know, oh, <laughs> I can like fall over. <laughs> As you can see again in the leg, the leg is, I don't know if you can see, but like down here, it's kind of um, baggy. These jeans would be really cute with these boots. I don't wear a whole lot of pants that are this cuffed style. So yeah, and I like the lines on these. It's like a zip. I wonder if they, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, they don't come apart. I was like, do they undo? They do undo, but you're not showing any skin. But yeah, I think it's quite slimming. This is a size eight, well, even or not, look how much of fabric. I remember now it's like a smock dress. It's really, really cute. It is actually long enough for me. It's not long sleeve, so it does show that you like still have some shape and you're not just like a floating blob. You could obviously too like belt it in. And it actually looks like my leg starts here, so it looks quite short, but it's not that short. So it's so floaty. The very last item, I mean I can try it on, but it's not really gonna work over this because you won't be able to see it. But hopefully you can see I love it because the collar is like that. It's very Chanel inspired. I just think it looks really classy and pretty and it's really hard to find a neckline like this for some reason in like my age group stores but I just thought it was really pretty. 
and um yeah i'm not about to put another whole outfit on to try this on because i have to go now like literally it's taken me so long to film this because i won't shut up hope you guys enjoyed my video and write me a comment of your favorite item i love you guys and i will talk to you again very soon bye